Hello and welcome to Stealth Formulas. My name is Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. I was recently asked the following question. Can you do a video on how you can put formulas in but the cell looks empty? And I'm gonna talk about that in this video. Exercise one. So here's the idea. We have a cell and it has some formula. We want this formula to work, but when a user selects the cell, we just don't want the formula displayed. So how do we do that? First, we'll select the cell and then open the Format Cells dialog box. There's many ways to open this dialog box. For now, I'm just gonna go to Format, Format Cells. Then I click on the Protection tab. Now I see I have two checkboxes, Locked and Hidden. For this first exercise, we're gonna remove the locked check and we're gonna add a hidden check. And then we're gonna click OK. Now at this point, our expectation would be that if we're navigating around and we select the cell, the formula would be hidden. But like, it's not. It's visible in the formula bar and it's also visible in the cell. So like, what's going on? Is Excel broken or what's going on? Well, that brings us to step two and the next exercise. Exercise two. So after we've accomplished step one, which is to check the hidden checkbox, it's time to do step two, which is to protect the worksheet. Think about it like this. That hidden attribute isn't enforced until the worksheet is protected. In other words, we have to protect the worksheet in order to have Excel enforce that hidden checkbox. So what I'll do is I'll click on the format dropdown and I'll select protect sheet. Now at this point, I get a dialogue asking what things do we want to allow the user to do even when the worksheet is protected. Feel free to check all these out because they're useful depending on what you're working on. In this case, I'm just gonna take the defaults and click okay. Now at this point, the formula is not displayed in the formula bar and it's not displayed in the cell. And that's how we can hide formulas when they're in cells. But even though the formula is hidden, it's not locked. In other words, someone can override my formula. For example, they could just type in a value and hit enter and now my formula is gone. And that brings us to the next exercise, exercise three. Let's go back to the format cells dialog. Here we can add locked. And what this means is that when the worksheet is protected, the cell will be locked, meaning the user can't change the value. So we can do either or both of these depending on what we're working on. Let's click okay. Now let's go back and protect the worksheet. Once again, we can pick some other options. We could even have a password to unprotect if desired, and then we click OK. Now, this formula is hidden from the formula bar and a user can't change the value. And when they try, they get this error message. And that's how we can use the hidden and locked attributes when worksheet protection is applied. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Hey, Excel user. If you ever need to create summary reports, check out my pivot table for beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 